Thanks for watching Daytime, everyone. You know, every four months or so, I make a trip to my doctor and turn back the hands of time. I will admit I am a Botox and skincare fanatic, and it's safe to say that Cindy may be too. Yeah, I'm smiling, but you can't really tell, can you? I, I really <laughs> am into this. In fact, many of us are, but with so much marketing hype around skincare products, procedures, and treatments, it's difficult to tell the real results versus the myths. Braden and Cardiology Center and Daytime's resident doctor, Sharini Iyengar, is here to tell us what works and what doesn't. So we don't have to waste our money then. No, I think this is a topic that is a billion dollar industry in mm -hmm. the country. So I think it's important to inform people that are watching about what are the myths and what are the real facts about these things. Well, I think I've spent a billion dollars on my face already. <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to spend money on wrinkle creams. Let's talk about those. Anti-aging wrinkle well, creams. Well, the thing is with wrinkle creams, let's be honest, if you're in the sun most of the day, don't expect a wrinkle cream to reverse the hands of time. You know, you have to do some smart things for yourself. So wrinkle creams themselves can help by kind of increasing the collagen turnover of your skin, but don't expect them to be miracle workers. They're not meant to be that way. Unfortunately, people don't drink enough water, they spend too much time in the sun, and then they douse on the wrinkle cream thinking that it might actually change things. What about retinol, though? Isn't that supposed to really take off a couple of layers? Yeah, it does, and <laughs> retinol is actually very effective, but again, it's taken in its extent of a cream. You okay. know, how much can it really do? Right. And the thing is, it is effective, but don't expect it to reverse the hands of time. So basically, all these things are, all these creams are just hydrating your face, and that's well, pretty much it? Well, retinol, in a sense, turns over the skin itself faster. Right. But if you actually go in the sun too long, you'll actually be more prone to sunburn. Mm -hmm. So you have to be very careful and temper the enthusiasm for the cream for what you're doing on a social basis. Right. Temper the enthusiasm <laughs> for the that's cream. That's right. <laughs> all right, let's talk about lasers. There are a whole bunch of different lasers out there on the market. Um, some say they, again, make you look younger, take away wrinkles, do any of them work? They do, but the thing is, this is another thing I would tell anybody watching right now. Talk to your medical specialist about this. Don't think that you would go to an office and say, I want the laser. You need to have options on the table. What else is available? Because laser resurfacing of the skin is not cheap. Mm -hmm. It can range up to $5,000 just for one procedure. So if you're going to someone and they're saying this is the only thing for you, rethink it because it's a very expensive procedure and you don't know all the time if the results are going to be exactly what you wanted. Does it work? Sure, but in the right hands. Mm, let's talk about Botox, speaking of being in the right hands. Well, see, and this is, Botox is probably the most widely used procedure cosmetically in the country right now. And it's a billion dollar industry. It's doing very well. The thing, when I've talked to a number of women over the last few weeks about the subject, it's very interesting because a lot of women have had it. Mm -hmm. It's that who is doing it? And how mm -hmm. is it being done and how often is it being done? When people tell me they're going to Botox parties, which is a very popular thing, I often ask, who's giving the Botox? Who's mm -hmm. doing it? My opinion in professionally has to be that it should be a license either a uh, dermatologist, plastic surgeon, ophthalmologist. These are individuals who had deal with the facial anatomy on a day in and day out basis. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to a Botox party, well, I prefer to be in a medical setting. Right, and your manicurist yes. is doing it might not be a good it idea. May not be a good idea because <laughs> the injection may not be that hard to give, but the complication to treat it might be. So you need to be in a setting where if something does happen negatively, you're in a place where you can get treated. So if the Botox truck comes up to your house, maybe you should just pass on that. Yeah, one. I would say so. What can go wrong? I mean, what have you seen or what have you heard about that can go wrong with Botox? Well, from my skin's perspective, what I've seen and what I've talked to other dermatologists and plastic surgeons, and they've told me personally, is that the face can be paralyzed. You can have muscles and areas of the face that the Botox actually go into that you actually have more of an effect than less. So take, instead of taking away the frown lines, the entire face looks like it's actually a little paralyzed. Mm. Now, systemic effects of Botox can happen as well because Botox can be used for a number of things. It can actually paralyze the vocal cords or the esophag esophagus from basically spasming, but it can also in, in basically impair breathing. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things that can happen if it's used inadvertently or in the wrong hands. But if you use it over an extended period of time, I've heard that it um, it means you won't have to get as much of it when you get it done. Well, Is that there's true? also antibodies that your body can produce to Botox. So if you're using Botox on a religious basis or very often, your body can actually re develop a resistance to it in some sort where you will actually either not get the same effect you did when you first started using it or need more. That means we'd have to try to find oh, something new. darling, I don't know what we're going to do. I'm <laughs> <laughs> not sure what we're going to do. Just go less frequently and get as little as possible. Yes, yes. Well, it works. And the thing yeah. is, in the right hands and in the fact that if you have the licensed professionals in a medical setting, I think it's safe. Okay. Dr. Okay, Iyengar, if you'd great. like you. to learn more about skincare, go, you can find Dr. Iyengar on Facebook by going to our website, daytimeonline.tv. We'll be right back.